Some of you have found amusing the story about the exploits and subsequent arrest of a man informally known as the Liberty Gardens Park Streaker. As you've seen in our reports on West Tennessee Today, John Robeson was handed down a $10,000 bond by Judge Blake Anderson. He's been ordered to undergo a psychological evaluation at Pathways of Jackson. The judge also banned Robeson from appearing in any city parks. Now this all started earlier this month when Robeson was discovered parading around in Liberty Gardens without a stitch of clothing. Now that kind of thing creates the giggle effect in some people, much as the streaking fad that came and went on college campuses in 1974. And based on our responses on Facebook, Robeson's clothless capers have caused a few chuckles in some of our followers. But I did have a couple of people who responded with this question. Why is this a story? One wrote, it's not a murder, it's not a violent crime, so what is the big deal? And that's a valid question. It is easy to suggest that the news media, including us, would cover such a story for its giggle effect and because it usually has people talking. And this story has had people talking throughout our community. But I will tell you the serious side of why this is a story. This man is accused of walking naked in a public park where law-abiding citizens go for exercise, for picnics, to walk their dogs, and to enjoy outings with their children. That is not the kind of audience that should be exposed to this kind of behavior. It's been happening across the street from businesses and near a medical park in two local banks. Anywhere where children or women are near, when a male chooses to expose himself for the world to see. It's not just a violation of the law, but of common decency. In this particular case, it's a story because the alleged streaker has a past history of this kind of thing. If you go elsewhere on West Tennessee Today, you'll see a story from WGXT in Jacksonville from two years ago. John Robeson was arrested six times in six years in that major Florida city. The last two times were in a section called San Marco. He was spotted on a church parking lot and near local businesses. Police tell us he's been charged 13 times for public indecency. When someone has this kind of pattern, he's a danger not only to others, but to himself. Now, I can list other reasons why this is a story that are very serious, especially in a culture where aberrant behavior has led at times to some catastrophic results. So while some of you may giggle at a man who thinks it's perfectly acceptable to walk around in a midtown park in Jackson, Tennessee in his birthday suit, think about the overall consequences of this. Judge Anderson ordered this man to have a psychological evaluation. With this many charges on its record, he obviously does need help. He will face a preliminary hearing in court and ultimately either a plea deal or a trial. I really wish this was not a story of significance in our community, but in today's society, it unfortunately is for very serious reasons. I only hope the man gets the help he seriously needs, and we can move on from what is an obvious nuisance to our community. I'm Steve Beverly with the West Tennessee Today Commentary, and remember, when news breaks out, we break in.